Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, D, let's go, D. Come up, come up, come up. Finish it, finish it. 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 Finish
you're going to be successful on both ends. It's so simple, but but encouraging guys and, and helping guys uh, learn the discipline to be able to do that is an entirely different story. But like anything, you just got to uh, keep perpetuating the message and rep it every day and encourage guys to do the right thing. And, mm -hmm. and we're, we're trying to do that the best we can. And last time we were here was the occasion on that strength and conditioning. I believe it was back in May. Uh, and, and again, an opportunity to reach out to um, uh, the players here. They came and got a very good uh, presentation at that time. And that was another uh, community service that you were able to do and uh, it seems like East LA College is really stretching out. We see the website, we see a lot of good things. It's a conglomeration of very good positive points, Coach, and your thoughts on those so far? Yeah, we're, we're trying to be as involved as we can. We'd, we'd like to morph into even even more of a, a factor in the community, but first we got to take a, care of our house first, mm -hmm. and so there's been a lot of housekeeping that we've had to do, but we had a, a youth camp a couple weeks ago where after our practice we had uh, 50, 60, 70, 80 local youth players that our, our guys helped work with them and do those things. And we love to be a part of those things. And uh, we, we want to give to the community and give back. And we hope the community is going to support us. And they have uh, fantastically so far. And we, we know that relationship is going to grow and continue. And as you built the roster, you were able to we were able to see a diversity, a very nice cross section of players coming from a wide variety of schools, but a very nice mixture of the local schools. And you you said uh, to us way back when, when we first spoke that that was going to be one of your uh, emphasis to come yeah. locally into the community. Absolutely. And so uh, we, we I mean we hit Roosevelt, we hit Garfield hard, and we got we got a lot of guys out of those schools. Not all of them decided they want to be college football players, and that's mm -hmm. that's the way it goes sometimes. But that's why you cast a wide net, and like yeah. you said. Got some really talented local guys. We got some talented holdovers from last year, and we got some reached out in the city a little bit, out east a little bit, and, and found guys everywhere we possibly could that could come out and, and help us build this into a championship caliber program. And coach, you, we have seen also your implementation of the uh, the database, the system, the recruiting process, um, as they say, catching up with the new technology, and that has been a very very big emphasis that you've placed on the program. And how is that coming so far? It's going well. You know, we have our, our systems as far as how we recruit and how we, we collect and disseminate data on guys and different things, but also uh, the social media element I think mm -hmm. has been successful. The website, our Instagram account, ELAC Football, uh, yes. on Instagram has been very successful. But, you know, I, I really feel like those things, if you have, they, they showcase who you are to the world a little bit. And so if you turn on a, a website to a junior college program, it was made in 1993, it probably says something about the program. If you, you turn on one that looks great, and mm -hmm. uh, it also probably says something about the program. So we're trying to, to make sure everybody knows what we're all about and that we're championship caliber here and we're going to win a lot of games and help guys achieve their goals of playing D1 ball and getting out to four-year schools. And coach, the first game is just around the corner. It'll be with Glendale and it'll be a home game, but yep, you still absolutely. got a lot of work cut out for you. You got a very big roster, and you're going to have to, as they say, get down to the nuts and bolts. And, and those players that will be named to the team, will that be coming shortly? Yeah, we, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty close to our, our final numbers. Of course, like junior college football, like all football, uh, the roster will shorten itself. We won't have to do too much work there. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we released a depth chart already, and, and guys know where they stand. But like you said, we still got a couple weeks out, and nothing's final. And so it's so important that guys show up and, mm -hmm. and compete every day. We tell them if you don't like your spot on the depth chart, go go win more reps, compete harder, study harder. You, you know, ultimately, you you control your uh, your destiny here. And, and so it's all about what you can do and, mm -hmm. and how you can execute and what you can bring to the team. The best football players are going to play. We're trying to win games, and we're trying to give guys opportunities to do something really special here. And uh, you said that the word that starts with a W, the win. It's going to be very, very uh, crucial and very important in your philosophy to, to bring the winning streak, bring the, the cultivate the winning attitude here at ELAC. And that's going to be a challenge for you. But now you feel very, very positive that things will come together. I think our staff's worked really hard to, to get the, the talent necessary to win at this level. I think we have... Uh, the necessary roster, and now it's it's about guys buying in and, and understand that the the work we've put in in the spring and the summer and the work we do Monday through Friday mm -hmm. ultimately determines outcomes on Saturday. Turn the lights on Saturday, everybody wants to win, but it's it's the fifth straight day in pads and camp. You're tired, you're sore. Who's mm -hmm. really out there getting the work in? And we're trying to make sure that that our staff and our guys and everybody's getting it in, and and ultimately that that process is going to help mm -hmm. us be successful on game day.
Very quickly, Coach, would there be the green and white intra-squad game coming up, or is that yeah, in we, the plan? We, we actually have a, a little scrimmage going tomorrow, but the big one's going to be next Thursday, the green and white scrimmage, and we'll find out a little bit about our team tomorrow. We'll find out even more on Thursday, and okay. it's coming up fast. Thursday. And very quickly, we're going to post a graphic of how people, how the fans and the public and community can see you on website, and it's it's a growing entity. Yeah, uh, your website is construct, under construction, but it's posted, it's live, yeah. and there's more and more content coming up. Yep, absolutely, and, and you know we're always posting stuff on on Instagram and Twitter and doing those different things. Easy way to disseminate things, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, you know you do you do everything you possibly can, but all, at the same time we got to make sure that everything in house is is where it's at, and we're very happy with things are, and mm -hmm. and so we're just looking forward to to, to to tomorrow and and what we can get done there, and before you know it, all of a sudden, like you said, it'll be Saturday. We'll be playing Glendale. And lastly, the, the buzz, the word, the talk, uh, as they say, just with students here on campus, with the faculty as well, the administration, uh, any feedback thus far from them? Yeah, there's, there, it's gotten some really positive feedback, and, and they've been very supportive of, of, of us. And the, the thing people don't understand is, is if you have a, a school and, a, and, and administrators and uh, facilities people, you know, everybody on your side, and now when you need carpet or you need a TV hung or you need classrooms to meet in and all those different things if those those people help you win games they don't they may not realize it but the more support you get takes stress off me allows guys our guys have better resources and it's been great so far and so uh, all the all the effort of, of the the staff on campus has been tremendous is, and it's going to help help contribute to the games we win on on in Saturdays in the fall coach Eric Marty we thank you right now cuz You've got still more work to do. Even after practice, we're going to thank you for Absolutely. allowing us to interview some of the players. Yeah, of course. And we will catch up to you here next Thursday. All right, sounds great, We'll take Rico. a look, sneak All peek right. at the Huskies <laughs> for 2015, uh, the season coming up. Thank you. Yeah. Head coach Eric Marty. We're going to come back with some players here on East LA Sports Scene as we've covered a full day of practice here at the uh, Weingar Stadium, the home of the East LA Huskies. Don't go away. Be right back with you. Okay, speaking with a player that's going to be on the roster for the East LA Huskies, and it's a pride of Roosevelt High School, Kevin Gomez, and you are here now, ELAC, your Husky, and your thoughts on becoming part of the team and, of course, attending here at East LA College. Well, it's an honor coming out of high school and coming to play for a community college. It's very, it's very overwhelming, and it's, it's a faster tempo, and it's way, I got to say, it's way better than, it's faster and it's way better than high school. Um, honestly, just uh, coming out here, it's a great honor being able to get priority for classes and mm -hmm. just being able to get in the field again. Feels good. Your sights are set. Your focus as a student athlete here to compete at the junior, at the community college level with, of course, aspirations and, and thoughts of playing at Division One level, perhaps after one year or maybe two years. Uh, well, yes, that's, that's everyone's goal in this community college, I'm guessing, because while well, coming out of here from high school, you have many options like myself. I had options to go to different schools, Cal State, and I decided just to come straight to uh, JC because I felt like my football career wasn't done. I wanted to continue just a little bit longer, um, be able to give it all I got and see what the outcome is. And yeah. Okay. And the coaching staff, have, have they decided where your role will play or your position will be? Uh, well, as of right now, the dead chart isn't complete, isn't set because we as everybody on this field wants a spot they're gonna they're gonna fight for a spot mm -hmm. uh we're just gonna have to compete everybody as as of right now like i'm competing for a, a spot at backer outside or middle mm -hmm. but just everybody it's the positions open to everybody so pretty much we just got to get out there and compete Okay, two quick questions real quick. Academically, your pursuits, um, have you decided what you might want to major in? Uh, well, yes. Uh, right now, it's a, it's a for sure that I'm going to go for psychology, just major in psychology, and okay. just try to get transferable credits to get out of here. Okay. And, of course, the Roosevelt High School, the R Rough Riders, yes. they have their season coming up. I know you're going to be kind of looking over your shoulder just to see how they're doing, but any word from uh, Coach Sid and some of the players that are, that are still playing there? Well, the coaching, uh, the coaching staff is terrific at Roosevelt. Every single one of them gives it their all to each and every player. They, focus, they just don't focus on one. They focus on every individual, making sure that they get out either academically or for football-wise. We, oh, we, first, we're student-athletes. We're not athletes and then students. We're, uh, first of all, academics first and that's what I love about Roosevelt they focused on both and they give it their all the pride of uh, Roosevelt Rough Riders Kevin Gomez thank good you, luck sir. to you we'll, yeah, we'll you. cover you more during the season okay we're gonna come back with our next uh, student or player here at East LA College this is East LA Sports Scene
And speaking with another player here that we've covered back on East LA Sports East High School Game of the Week, this is Vicente Peña, the pride of the Wolves and High School Mules, and Coach Eddie Martinez uh, in his playing days as a high school player. But now, it's changed. Vicente, we want to welcome you back to well, cover you on East LA Sports How are you doing? I'm doing great. And yourself? Oh, I'm doing well. Doing well. It's a very, very big project for us to cover the Huskies here at East LA College because they're so important to the community. Your thoughts on being here and getting ready to play a new season? Oh, it's an honor coming back to stepping on the field, just stepping on the field itself. You know, it feels like the drive, you know, that you want to you wanna go out there and, and compete, mm -hmm. especially to beat Glenda. Oh. Putting it out there, you know, it's just, we got to beat them. Yes. You know, it's something that we, we're looking forward to. September 5th, hope you guys come and watch us okay. beat Glenda out here, you know. And, if, and, of course, you're bringing to this program and to East LA College your skills as a position player. You're a punter, a field goal kicker, and, of course, a very good one. Uh, we might add that because of, we followed you in high school, and again, your development continues to to get better and better. Yeah, I just try to get better, you know, every day, hit the field at least an hour, mm -hmm. an hour a day, Sundays, Saturdays, I'm always out there kicking some field goals, plenty. I'm also part of the snap hold kick, I'm mm -hmm. representing. Sure. Um, I'm just, just trying to get better every time, you okay. know, just getting out there, Chris Ehlers, Kicking Worlds, all those, that's main thanks to them, you know. Staying so, busy all the time. All the time. And, of course, uh, who knows, at the end of your career here at East LA College, because you would be categorized as a freshman. Uh, I'm a freshman right So here there's right still now. two years left. Yeah, two more years. Possibly, or even one after you finish, you could yeah. go on to Division One, And those are some of your goals and aspirations, right? Yeah, I'm just hoping to get out of, I mean, out of here, not in a bad way, you know. I just mm -hmm. want to go out there and make myself better. Okay. Looking up for Division One out there, you know. Just, I'm trying to make myself better every day. Okay. Just to compete and make sure I have this. And, and let's talk about your enrollment as a student now because academics, as Coach Marty says, that's very important. Yes, you have to have the, the, the grades to play. Yeah. And your, your, your choice, uh, your uh, major, possibly some well, of the I'm a, I'm a psych major. Okay. Psychology, yeah. I'm just focusing more on, on psych and I wanted some type of medicine too. Okay. Trying to be an athletic trainer and all that involved. Okay. Hopefully everything comes out well. Okay, and you're a very proud alumni of Wilson. Uh, okay. Coach Eddie Martinez and his uh, coaching staff were big factors in your development. Would, would you say say oh, so? Yeah, my coaches, all of them. I give them a big thank to Coach Grave, especially. Mm -hmm. He's not coaching anymore, but mm -hmm. he was one of my main mentors okay. out there when I started hitting the field. And as a football player, as a soccer player, he. He told me, hey, we need a kicker. I'm, I'm going to go out there for the good coach. You know, I got you. Anytime Coach Martinez, you know, he's our, he's our head coach. And uh, just big thanks to him. And you know? let's give our viewers a capsule, a snapshot, a thumbnail sketch of what you you were saying. You're out here per performing and, and, and getting those extra kicks and those extra reps. But let's say for distance-wise, give our viewers where you can punt that ball uh, on any given play uh, uh, in, in a game or maybe field goals as well. Oh, you got to be ready for those 55 yard puns with at least 4A hang time and those okay. uh, 55 yard field goals as well. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be set from them. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be good. And those are all within yeah, your You just got to be careful because I'm coming. <laughs> hey, those kickoffs too, back of the end zone, where you have some good returners. Okay, special teams, and he is going to be a very, very uh, valued asset here for Coach Eric Marty and the Huskies as they prepare for Glendale. Game number one, as you said, Vicente, September the 5th. Final thoughts to our viewers on East LA Sports Scene. Those individuals that know you, and when they see you, they're going to say, ah, there he is. Yeah, well, I just, the, all the Al Serena community and out there, whoever knows me, you know, I'm, I'm here. Come watch us play, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be proud to represent ELAC, you know. There he is, Vicente Peña. Thank you. Thank you very much, okay? Good luck to you in the season, all right? Okay, we're going to come back with our next player. This is East LA Sports Scene. And our third player today, a student athlete uh, for East LA College Huskies, Israel Lorenzo. And Israel, how are you doing today? I'm um, great. Well, come here to work. Okay. And this is it. This is the field of work for you, the place of work. But yeah. again, a very difficult sport, one that's not that easy to master. Uh, your thoughts on um, your role here at ELAC? You come from Sure High School, but you have put in a lot of time playing football. Take us back to when you first started. Uh, I came last year, straight out of high school. Um, I played, started for seven games, and hopefully get the degree, my uh, A, and then uh, hopefully get a D1 offer or any offer I could get okay. and play uh, football, free okay. school. And the course of studies you're pursuing here at ELAC? Uh, I'm studying uh, physical therapy, mm -hmm. so that's my major. And I'm uh, taking my classes and then take every class one by one and then pass my classes. And to come here to East LA College, uh, there's been a change, as they say, in the coaching. Yeah. And you have a chance to look back on the old staff versus the new staff. Can you give us a little comparison? Uh, two, just two different staffs. You know, this staff came in uh, strong. They want to compete for a championship. And uh, 
and I want to be in that staff and win win a championship for them. And that's uh, Coach Eric Marty's message to each and every player. Yeah. Put in the work, and you yeah. rise in the depth chart, right? Yeah. Okay, because that's what he mentioned, that uh, there is, it's very competitive here. Yeah, I got to compete for a spot, and then um, hopefully uh, win every game one by one. Okay. Now, um, last season, a uh, very good season for you. You started seven games. Uh, and uh, any, anything that was your highlight of, of that season last year? Uh, getting better every year, you know, competing with different players that have talent. And then uh, now for this year, that was my time to shine. Okay. And your sophomore, your second year, and as you say, uh, the first game is just around the corner, Glendale. Yeah. And uh, it will be all systems go at that time. Yep. You no, know, come out strong beat them and win the game Listen. okay and you'll be playing on the offensive line let's yeah. give us that position tackle or guard uh, I'm right now playing tackle but I'm switching to guard okay so yeah and the versatility you have there the coaches certainly recognize that and you will be one of the anchor members of the front offensive line right yes, sir okay uh, um, anything you'd like to mention to our the kids who watch us who happen to be in Pop Warner because did you come out of the, a, a Pop Warner program? No. Okay, yeah. but th there are kids now that are, are linemen that are very, very big for their age, and who knows, maybe one day they'll have an opportunity to play here at ELAC or some other place where yeah. they will be on that offensive line. If you speak to that, that player right now, that chavalo, the yeah. kid, uh, what would you say to him? You know, uh, go school. First thing, go your student athlete first, you know. Go school, compete, you know, get better every year, and then uh, hopefully get that uh, free school and they get a degree. Okay, well said. Israel Lorenzo, proud alumni of Sure High School, Spartan forever, yes, right? Yes, sir, Spartan okay. forever. All right, and now an East L.A. College Husky. He's ready to kick off uh, for the season in just a couple of more weeks. We'll be right back with our final student athlete here, our player interview at East L.A. after uh, a full day of practice. We'll be right back. Okay, final interview tonight is with Michael Ladino. He's at the quarterback position and comes from a local L.A. Unified High School Contreras, downtown in the heart of L.A. And, Michael, your thoughts on being an East L.A. college Husky? Uh, it's amazing, everything, the environment, the coaching staff that we have here, the, our players, we're all a brotherhood, we're all one family. Everybody in here is all for each other. And this will be your second year at ELAC, okay? Yes, it will, my second Okay, year. and last season, of course, the first, you uh, had a lot of experience under your belt, and you take that, and now you prepare for this year. Uh, it's going to be very competitive. H how's things going here uh, under Coach Marty and his system? Uh, Coach Marty brings out the best of everyone. Uh, his system is more complex than it was last year, so little tweaks in here and there, trying to adjust to it, mm -hmm. but everything's coming along well for all of us. And as we ask your, your teammate, your offensive lineman there, Israel Lorenzo, he, you also have a chance to look back and compare yeah. the, the then to the now. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, then and now, I think it's way better now from what we've accomplished and what we've been going through for, uh, fall camp. So I, I think it's everything's moving along. Everything's moving along like it should be. And it seems like uh, football has become more of the station, the station, the station, and periods of of activity, yeah. and of course periods to learn, moments yeah. to learn, uh, lessons learned on the field and practice. And it, it seems like the players are really uh, liking that. Yeah. Uh, I, for, I think for us, it, it makes us get better as a person and as, and as a individual to work on what we need to work on. So I, I think it makes all of us better. Michael, a little bit about your past because to play quarterback is a very demanding, a very challenging uh, position. And a decision to do that uh, has to come from uh, a support uh, in your family, perhaps, or in your mentors or just your peers. Uh, what made you really decide on playing quarterback? Uh, ever since I was little, I guess, uh, my dad and my mom, my family, uh, okay. I just liked on the ball, so I, okay. it just stuck with me. And, I, and was there Pop Warner in your past? Did you play there? Yes, I played for the uh, East Stadium Bobcats. Ah, okay, yeah. wonderful. Wow, yeah. ah, so you're very familiar yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the community, yeah, yeah. and um, uh, that prepared you, yes, not only for high school, but e to where you are now. Yeah, it prepared me very well. Okay. Now, course of studies, academically, your pursuits? Um, kinesiology, I'm ma this is my major. Okay, Yeah. all right, and so after playing here, uh, going to a, a four-year uh, university, that's going to be a very nice major. Yes, 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 so we just want to get the degree. Okay, the degree. Uh, some type of sports medicine yeah. possibly in the background? Yeah. sports medicine, okay. of course. And let's see, let's talk about um, your uh, uh, entire uh, offensive side of the ball, and I know you also know the defense, but uh, the, the way things have uh, developed now with, with the line, of course, and then uh, your, your running backs and, of course, yourself, and wide receivers. How's that chemistry going? Uh, in the beginning, it was a little rough. It was a little adjustment because we all 
came into a new offense, but now I think we're flowing good. Everybody knows what they're supposed to do. Everybody get, uh, catches it along, so we're doing good. And Coach Marty uh, gives us the tools to prepare for us to be great on the field. And lastly, Michael, before we let you go, the, uh, the uh, spirit, the, the buzz, uh, the talk on campus now is football is back. And uh, that seems to really go hand in hand with the start of a new school year and uh, leading the charge as a football team. Uh, any word now about uh, from students or faculty that uh, or coaches maybe that are talking about the games? Uh, just come out and support and uh, we thank everybody for the support. We need it and this year is going to be a, a great upcoming year for us to get ELAC back where it's supposed to be on the top. Well said. Michael Ladino. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank All you. right? Thank you. Okay, and he's going to be in the mix there for the quarterback position here uh, as a Husky for East L.A. College as they get ready to kick off. So, for Eric Sarney, yours truly, Rico Cabrera, thanks for watching this edition of East L.A. Sports Scene, and we will see you very soon uh, for more football, high school, and college as we bring you East L.A. Sports Scene production here for the fall season. So take care, and we'll see you on our next show.